This crowd has thinned here a little bit at the U.S. Capitol, but that does not make them any less determined. This group marched from the White House about an hour ago, nearly two miles, about a thousand strong, maybe even more. The group has been relatively large, and we know that it is not the only one. I just want to show you first a bit of a scene over at the White House earlier today and what is the new Black Lives Matter Plaza. This has been a relatively large group. There it was a bit more quiet, at least for a moment. Protesters laid down after marching from DuPont Circle with their arms behind their back and softly chanted, I can't breathe for eight minutes in honor of George Floyd. We know that's not the only group here in Washington. Groups of evangelicals marched down Pennsylvania Avenue to the White House not all that long ago. Among them, Utah Senator Mitt Romney, a Republican, perhaps the most prominent Republican, to take part in any one of these Black Lives Matter protests. Here's what he had to say. Any way to end violence and brutality and to make sure that people understand that Black Lives Matter. The Capitol steps are a key part of this protest today. The Senate is in session tomorrow. We know that the House is meeting remotely, and protesters I've been talking to say these protests will persist until there is meaningful reform, and that should come from the legislature, they say.